Hey guys, welcome to the first no programming tutorial. Today we're going to be making this procedural asteroid field. It's going to be modular and configurable, so uh, you can set their minimum distance, their maximum distance, the total number, max scale, scale multiplier, we don't really need to worry about that right now. And uh, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is load Unreal, start a new project. We'll do it under the flying project, I guess. We're going to do with starter content just so we can get the rock. Technically, you don't need the starter content. You can just transfer the rock. But for now, we're just going to do that. So we're going to do roid field. Wait for that to load up. get mad at how long it takes wonder why I didn't put it on my SSD all right all right so let's get started here so we'll just make a folder called blueprints make a new blueprint class and we'll have it be an actor we're going to name it Roid Field. Bring that over here. Get. No. Alright, and then we're going to add. We're going to add a component. We're going to add an instanced static mesh. Now, what this lets you do is it lets you add sub static meshes, static meshes being models. And uh, it's really performance efficient to use instant static meshes as opposed to normal. Uh, static meshes. Uh, there are some downsides, but you don't need to worry about that for now. So we're going to name this. Actually, that's fine. Don't worry about that. So we're going to go into the construction script. Construction script executes the second, uh, basically any time this thing is moved or anything happens, it's placed in the level. And uh, we're going to do, oh god, I completely forgot what we're going to do, so I'm going to look at the other screen. And we're going to add some variables is what we're going to do. We're going to add we're gonna add an integer, and we're going to name this one total roids. This will obviously be the number of roids in the uh, level, or the uh, this actor. Then we're going to name, make another one. We're going to name this a float. We're going to have it a float, and we're going to name it min distance. And we're going to have another one. We're going to name this max distance. And I have another one and name it max scale. And then another one and name it scale multiplier. And then we'll have another one named min scale. I don't need that many scales, but this gives you more control. So next we're going to do is we're going to get total roids. I'm going to drag off that and do for loop. <clears throat> we're going to drag that into the last index. So this will get the number of total roids that you add, and we'll set its default to 20. Make sure you compile so that you can uh, edit that. <clears throat> so this uh, gets the total number of roids, and for each one, it's going to add an instant static mesh to the uh, instant static mesh. So we'll get the instant static mesh. We'll drag that in there, get it. And then drag off it and do add instance. Drag that to the loop body. And now for the transform, we're going to drag off that and do make transform. And now we're going to set up how this spawns procedurally. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a random unit vector. And we're going to multiply that. We're going to multiply that by a float. So this is going to get a random direction, and it's going to multiply it by our distances. So we're going to get our min distance, and we're going to get our max distance. And we're going to do random float and range. Drag the max into the max, make sure the min is connected to the minimum. So this will get a random number from our minimum, and uh, between our minimum and our maximum. Connect that to the random unit vector multiplication. And connect that to the location. So just to clarify what this does, it gets a random direction. 
and it multiplies it by our distance, uh, a random distance between our min distance and our max distance. So compile, and we'll set our min distance now. Um, to start, we'll use we'll use 500. For our max distance, we'll use 5,000. And uh, now select this and hit editable, and hit uh, select max distance and hit editable. Select total rise and hit editable. This will make it so that we can um, select these in the level with the actor selected and uh, edit them. Okay, now for the uh, rotation, we'll just do drag off that and get a random rotator. It'll just make a random rotation. That's all we need for that. Now for the scale, we're going to do a few things here. We'll get our min scale. We'll get our max scale. We'll do another random float in range. Connect the, whoops, I got the wrong thing there. Get the max scale. Make sure the max is connected to the max and the minimum to the minimum. Drag that over here. And then we're going to multiply this. Technically don't need this step, but I like it. It uh, gives more control. We're going to multiply this by the scale multiplier. And then we're just going to drag this into the scale. It'll automatically uh, convert that. So just clarify what this does. It gets a random number within our min scale and our max scale. It multiplies it by our scale multiplier, and it sets the scale to the instance that we're adding. So let's set our min scale now. Uh, let me see what I have on the other screen here. I have for min scale 0.2, and for max scale, we'll set that to 2. For a scale multiplier, we'll leave that at 1 for now. And we'll set all of these to be editable. All right. Now let's select our add instance. We need to set what instance it's actually adding. No, sorry. We select our instance static mesh and our components. And we set it there. We'll set that to SM rock. And if everything works right, it should pop up because it's in the construction script. We should see it here. And every time you compile or make a change, it should change. <coughs> so we'll drag that into our world now. Uh oh, Unreal might be crashing. Nope, it's working fine. Okay. Not sure what happened there. But as you can see, we have our procedural asteroid field. And uh, so we can make some changes again. Total roids, we'll make it 100. It should be fairly efficient, so it should be fine. Set our min distance, we'll make that 1,000. Set our max distance to 10,000. Scale, mul oops. Scale multiplier, we'll have 1. Now we'll set the scale multiplier to 3, 